Today, we are going to look at one of the greatest animated movies of all time. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm. It has become apparent that this is now one of the greatest Batman adaptations of all time. It is also apparent that I do a bad Christian Bale impression. And this mask is too tight for me. Should I take it off? Don't forget it. Let's just cut to the main title. But seriously, I should take this mask off. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man, that was tight. Oh god, I'm fat. But anyway, let's get to the review. Batman Mask of the Phantasm was an animated movie that was released in 1993. A year after the, the start of Batman the Animated Series. The story is about Batman facing off against a new villain, the Phantasm, and apparently he's linked Batman to a few mobster killings, and a lot of people are thinking that, you know, Batman did this, oh, he's, he's gone bad, but he hasn't, the, the Phantasm has been doing all the killings, but at the same time, a former flame of Bruce Wayne's returns to Gotham after 10 years, and... It's very much a coincidence. And at the same time, Bruce reminisces about the times he spent with her 10 years ago, which also kind of shows how he became Batman in the first place. And it is pretty fascinating. Now, what a lot of people don't get about this is that this was released mainly for kids, but it's actually not that much of a kid's movie. In fact... I mean, I could say it's for everyone, for all Batman fans, you know, young and old. Because the story is phenomenal. It really, like, the flashbacks are really interesting. Like, it shows how Bruce became Batman. And surprisingly, if you have seen the movie, then you'll know Mark Hamill's Joker has a very big role in this. But during, like, the final battle, it... it kind of feels more as if, you know, this is the Joker's battle, but it isn't. But the animation is spectacular. Like, it is, it's a step up more than, like, the great animation that's in the animated series. And I think this is probably the most overlooked Batman movie. And the voiceover work is pretty cool, especially from Kevin Conroy's voiceover work for Batman and Bruce Wayne. Like, he is phenomenal. I think a lot of people consider this version of Batman to be the definitive Batman. And I can agree. I can agree. I think this movie is definitely up there with some of the best Batman adaptations of all time. I love this movie. And it's actually one of my favorite movies in general. I, I really enjoy this film. In fact,. It's more than just geek-tested and nerd-approved. It should be destined to be universally loved by all. So have you seen Batman Mask of the Phantasm? Do you want to see it? What's your favorite Batman adaptation? What, Like, what's your favorite version of Batman? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you like what you've seen here, then feel free to press the like button, add this video to your favorites, and maybe even subscribe if you want. But until next time, this is Marcos Aquino saying, I don't wear hockey pads.